Um, my name is Bernadette Early. I'm from Chagask in Ireland. I work in a beef uh, production research centre in County Meath, which is located near Dublin. My first presentation was addressing immunocompetence and the impact of stress on immunocompetence. And the model that I chose to describe was the weaning model, the weaning of the beef calf. So I presented a series of studies just to show the um, response to abrupt weaning in beef calves. And the measures that we included was really to, I suppose, elucidate the biological mechanisms underlying stress in young animals. So we clearly identified that following abrupt weaning, there is a change in the stress leukogram, and this was evidenced by increased blood neutrophil number as well as decreased lymphocyte counts. When we looked in more detail at the biology of the animal, we found that L-selectin, a protein which enables neutrophils to move to sites of infection, was markedly decreased. We also looked at a number of different measures of immune function and found that they were correspondingly decreased up to two days post weaning with maximum responses evident by two days. However, on return to baseline at day seven and 14, there was no differences in weaned calves from controlled calves that were housed with their dams. So this work would suggest that the period from the time that the calves are weaned up to seven days is crucial and that it, during this time there are rapid changes taking place in the immune system of the animal. So the concern here is the timing of vaccination and it would be suggested from the work that response to vaccination would not be as beneficial during the, that time post weaning because the immune system is compromised. <clears throat> so my second presentation this morning was addressing housing facilities for beef cattle. In Ireland, we have a large number of concrete slatted floor shed accommodation for our beef cattle. And we would have sufficient straw for just one month of the winter to house animals in straw bedded facilities. Of concern at the moment, and it's really, I suppose, the perception is there that housing animals on slatted floor may not be represent, best representing their welfare. However, we conducted a series of studies looking at increasing the space allowance for finishing animals as well as modifying the underfoot conditions to see if there would be a benefit in terms of animal welfare and performance. We found that by increasing space allowance, there was no beneficial effect on performance or on welfare. And in the study that we conducted using mats, rubber mats covering concrete slatted floors, we found an increase in the number of lesions on the hooves of animals after a 150 day winter finishing period. So this finding would suggest that the rubber mats are not beneficial in terms of animal welfare because the last thing you want to see are animals with lesions because they will ultimately show signs of lameness.